I've been troubled a little bit by the whole immigration situation. And, and you know, I, my mind stays very active. Before I go to sleep at night, there's two things. The last thing on my mind is, is God. I don't know why. It's always been like that since I was a little kid. Um, it's, it's my time with God. For some reason, before I go to sleep, I think about God. And it's my time with him. It's like my time with dad. And so I start telling him stuff and, you know, and my fears, my loves, my dislikes, about all the stuff I liked that day, didn't like that day, the stuff I need, that I want, all of these things. So, but before I get to that, my little personal time with my father, uh, what I do, I, I think about other stuff. And uh, current events, what's been going on in the world, and how I can deal with this, who I was arguing with on Facebook or Twitter or this or that or, you know, things like that. Anyway, one of the things that's been in the news, of course, for a long time now, a couple of years, is this immigration issues and the Democratic Party and what they're doing to our country. And so I, uh, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I think I finally figured it out. And what brought it up is something that I saw a couple of weeks ago that Chuck Schumer said. He let the cat out of the bag, kind of, about why they're bringing the immigrants in. And it's something that Europe has been doing for a long time. The European nations, uh, Central European nations, Germany, Italy, Holland, France, with immigration. What's happening, the, the population in those countries, the native population has been decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. And they don't have enough workers to supply the retirees because pension plans are, are based on social security in all of these countries, same as we are in America. And the reason Medicare and social security and so forth are dying and becoming bankrupt is because we don't have enough young workers to pay into the system to pay all of the retirees because the retirees are living longer, there are more of us, we're healthier and so forth and so on. And that's why also we are not paying Social Security at the same age. It used to be 65, now it's gone up to 66, 66 in three months, four months, five, you know, every year now, I don't know if you know this, but to get your full social security benefits, they're adding a month or a half a month or, or, or a half a year every so often, okay? Now, here's where this all comes into play. There's a couple of factors playing into this. Abortion, okay? First, we have the fact that young couples are not having children like they used to. We went down to the thing of, you know, everybody wanted to have just two children or one child, one or two women are wanting and their husbands are wanting to have women, uh, children later, you know, you, you want to get your career going, get into it. And so you want to be like 40 or late thirties when you're established and so forth. And then you want to have your baby. So that's happening. And then of course, birth control and then abortion, abortion is a big one. So what's happening, we're, we're starting to deplete our workforce and Chuck Schumer essentially let the cat out of the bag that one reason they're bringing all of these illegal immigrants into the nation is to bring in our future workforce. That's why they're doing this. So the Democrats are trying to bring in this future workforce. They think somehow in their minds that this mass immigration is going to supply the workforce of the future. And this is why one of the big problems is our industry, our companies are supporting this. Our factories, our, our, our agricultural uh, systems, everything is needing workers to work because the old saying, they're doing the jobs that Americans don't want to do. Now, I'm not buying that totally, but 
as we've seen after COVID, a lot of people don't want to go back to work. So it's becoming worse and worse and worse with us not wanting to work. We're having less children. Abortion is rampant. They keep wanting to abort our own kids, but then we've got to have somebody do the work to earn the money to pay into the social systems to pay for all the Americans that don't want to work or can't work anymore because of retirement. So this is what's going on, and the liberal mind is too stupid to figure out, the Democrat mind, the liberal mind is too dumb or too stupid to figure out that this is unsustainable, okay? You cannot continue to run these policies and and sustain a society, an economy. Europe is already running into this. Uh, Germany, I think, is below the uh, below the line. I think they're having less than one child per family. So we're not re- they're not reproducing enough to even keep their system going. Their issue was with Turks. They've got Turks coming in, and the problem is the Turks are smart. They're sending their money back to Turkey, and they're retiring in Turkey where they can retire more cheaply and live live better than they can in Germany. You've got it in France and Holland. In Holland, it's the Moroccans. In France, it's Algerians, Moroccans, all kinds of immigrants and so forth. And so that's what's going on. Now, America, this is what is happening to our nation. And somehow, somebody needs to wake up. It's unsustainable. Democrats Liberals are big on sustainability. We're so busy worrying about energy sustainability that they're not looking at the human dynamic of sustainability. And at some point, it's unsustainable. Now, what what I believe the elites are counting on is that they can move up high enough in the system, your political class, your wealthy class, are believing they can live at this strata up here where they can be above it all and they can just replace the peons down here. And so they don't care who's working down here. They don't need Americans. They don't care if you're African, Spanish, Chinese, what? They don't care. They just want to live their life up here on the caviar class and have the workers down here. It's a new feudalism, basically. What they don't understand is it can only last so long. It's going to come crashing down. and it's Or at some point, as we used to say, the niggas are going to come tear it down. Okay? It, it, it just It's just how it's going to happen. So anyway, that's what I wanted to leave you all with today. And I hope you've enjoyed our broadcast today. And we will see you or talk to you again next week. Take care, everybody.
I've been troubled a little bit by the whole immigration situation. And, and you know, I, my mind stays very active. Before I go to sleep at night, there's two things.